Hey guys, and welcome to a credit farming guide in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. So all you gotta do is uh, preferably have a gem on all of your heroes that basically says increases the amount of credits collected by 20%. 20%. Unfortunately, I only have this as 13.4% because I don't want to waste it as yet because credits aren't really needed for me just yet. I'm trying to focus more on getting experience. But if you ever need credits at a later level, this is how you get it. So... I'm kind of abusing the system right now because I only actually have three of these gems, so I'm just, you know, doppelganging this dude four times because each of them has it, so it's basically like 53% times four, so it's like 200% uh, credits and stuff. So what you do is you go to chapter select. So this is how the farming works. It's quite simple, quite quick, and you can get vast amounts really quickly. So you go to chapter select. You have to have played through superior difficulty, at least up until the end of Asgard. So you're going to go to Asgard chapter nine here, right at the bottom on superior difficulty. You're going to load that up. You're going to go straight to the last one, the great hall of Asgard reclaimed. You'll see it's right it's right as Odin is is like basically congratulating you for for winning. You actually don't have to play. You don't. You can use the weakest heroes you want to do this. You know, I just have Deadpool loaded because I'm currently leveling him. So, and there's four of him. So, you know, just it, it, it's easier to, to get all the the, the credits. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So, let's wait for it to load. Okay, so as the game loads, Odin will speak to you, he'll tell you some stuff, he'll tell you how amazing you are and holding his crystal ball, and then you click X again to skip. Now you basically just destroy all of the stuff, and look how much gold you're getting at the bottom there, or credits. There, that, that is 1.9 million already, and there's another 1.9 million coming up over here as well, so that's going to double it to 3.9 million. 3.9 million credits, just like that. And all you got to do... Is just go here back to the shield point go straight to system go to quit you don't have to save it it, it saves automatically just if you ever do quit the game uh, save before you quit the game after doing this because <laughs> uh, you have to save eventually but you don't have to save each single run you just keep doing it like this over and over and over just load again and wait for for odin to appear on your screen after the loading screen and then you basically skip again and then skip again as he speaks again here spam that X button and then you just just keep going destroying all this stuff here some heroes are much better equipped to do this I, I'm just using Deadpool because like I said it's, I just had him loaded and it's easy to put all the experience uh, credit gems in in one place nice and simple there we go another 3.9 million you can see my credits just went up by quite a lot in just that those two runs and it barely takes any time at all so that's how you can credit farm in the game I uh, I believe you might actually even be able to get more on ultimate difficulty, but unfortunately, I haven't pushed that far yet. So for now, the system's basically the same. If you can do it on ultimates, uh, someone if someone can do it and test it out, see if it gives you more credits or the, basically the same amount, let me know in the comments below. I'll update like a little thing on the screen or I'll eventually get to ultimate myself. But for right now, this is the best credit farming system you know, method that I know of in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want credits, well, this is how you do it. That is how you do it, folks. That is how you do it. Look at them, Deadpools. Look at them. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's twerking. <laughs> Thanks for watching, dudes.